exactly a year back, we were very sure that India is going to drive aggressively our vaccination campaign. And not only India, I think all countries were getting ready for their vaccination. And it was uh, precisely at that time, uh, we were thinking of uh, building a digital public good uh, called DIVOC. And uh, uh, it was specifically meant to solve verifiable credentialing of vaccination, vaccination credentials, that the ability to get that certificate uh, for everyone. And um, a year later, we are celebrating a billion. Uh, congratulations to India and congratulations to DIVOC team and congratulations to the open source community that helped build that. Uh, today is a momentous uh, day for us. And when we designed the DIVOC uh, a year ago, we were very, very clear that uh, we must uh, adopt an international specification. We must work with international um, authorities like WHO uh, to uh, bring them along and uh, design a portable um, a credential that can even Indians can use that to travel and uh, when others come and we can accept their vaccination credential as well. So we decided to use uh, W3C verifiable credential um, specification. In fact, uh, we are probably the largest known uh, verifiable credential uh, issuance based on W3C in the world. So that's an amazing uh, uh, achievement by itself. But we also worked with WHO to get WHO's um, data specification for vaccination credential, uh, digital representation data specification out and I'm very happy to hear, tell you that DIVOC is compliant to W3C, compliant to WHO's uh, verifiable uh, vaccination credential format. And um, entirely, the system was built to be configurable, um, evolvable, and we kept iterating to make sure that it is uh, ad uh, uh, and adapting to the needs and adopting the latest standards. For example, today DIVOC even supports EU formats to be exported, uh, ICAO formats to be uh, supported. And uh, knowing that uh, many systems are, uh, what do you call, uh, standards will coexist. And the architecture of DIVOC uh, allows that. So um, again, just to stress the fact that it is completely open source, built by an, a set of open source community members, uh, we uh, as digital public good. And the real exciting part though is yet to come. DIVOC is built on uh, something called Sunbird RC, uh, registry and credentialing uh, framework. It's a low code or almost a no code framework for building registries and verifiable credentials. Um, Sunbird RC is now going to be used uh, beyond, while DIVOC itself will be going, going beyond vaccination to other health domain. Sunbird RC, which is the underlying engine of DIVOC for credentialing, will be used across skilling and education and uh, financial sector and many other sectors. Uh, but the power of that verifiable certificate that is still printable, multilingual, uh, inclusive, uh, but digital, natively digital in nature is amazing and quite transformational. So I encourage everyone uh, who are you know, out there, participates in open source to uh, come check out DIVOC, check out Sunbird RC, um, for and leverage it. It's all MIT licensed code base out there and leverage it. And DIVOC has gone multiple countries as well. So congratulations to the entire team. A billion verifiable credentials. It's not a joke. Congratulations.